in this video I will go through how you delete mails from Simbra webmails. There are many different scenarios on when you should do this and how you do this correct. I will go through some of them in this video and if you have any problem, question or whatever please email us on our support at caruni.com First of all, you need to find out how big your mailbox is. It should always be kept below 10 GB or 10,000 MB. That is your limit of your mailbox. However, we normally don't block you if you go over. Many providers do, we don't. So therefore it's your responsibility to keep it below. The way you check it is if you go to your webmail, take your mouse over your inbox and it will tell you the size of your, your inbox. Mine is 7 megabyte. That's fine because my limit is 10,000 megabyte, which is the same as 10 gigabyte. So if you see more than 10 gigabyte here or 10,000 megabyte, you really have to start to delete some mail. So when you have established your size, you have to start to consider how to delete. If you are using Outlook as well as your webmail, you have to pay attention to this step. In Outlook, you can set up an email account as a POP account or an IMAP account. A POP is not connected to your webmail. If you have all your emails in Outlook in a POP account, you can just delete your webmails. It will not affect the mails in your Outlook. If you have an IMAP account in your Outlook, if you delete your webmail, it will also be deleted in Outlook. IMAP is a mirror of your webmail. So whatever you do in Outlook will reflect the webmail. Whatever you do in webmail will reflect your Outlook. So it's important to understand the difference between these two things. So how do you know what you have? Well, I have made a video that is called Why should I archive my mail in Outlook? It's available on my channel. This is good to watch before you do anything if you are in doubt. Because this will tell you how to archive your mail and it will tell you how to find out if you have a POP or an IMAP account. So if you by now do not know this, do not proceed, but check out this video first and follow those instructions. If you find out that you have an IMAP account, you're fine. If you follow this video and you archive your mails older than six months or ten, uh, one year or whatever you choose, it will automatically delete the old mails in your webmail and in your Outlook they will be under archive so you're fine no further action is needed if you have a POP account then you can just go to your webmail and you can delete all your mails there's no nothing will affect your Outlook if you are going to delete your mails, you have two options. You can delete all mails from webmail or you can delete all mails older than, for example, six months. I will go through the two procedures here. Delete all mails. In your webmail, you press Ctrl, Shift and A. This will mark all mails not only the ones you see, it will 
mark all the mails on your webmail. Then right click and select delete. Let's demonstrate. I am in my webmail. I mark any mail. I do Control Shift A. It says all items selected including those not yet loaded. That's exactly what we want. Now you right click and you delete. This will delete all your mails on your webmail. That is the easy quick solution for anybody using a pop account in Outlook. The second option. What if you want to keep mails on the mail server for a couple of months back or for the current school year or because sometimes you check webmail uh, if you are not at your PC and you're using a pop account. Well, you can use this that says before colon and a date. You can use this. You can type it in in the search field. This will display all mails older than this date. And then you do the control shift A as we did before and you right click to delete. Let's go through this example as well. So I am in my webmail. I go to the search. I paste in or write before colon and then the date in this format. 1st of March 2021. I click enter on my keyboard and it will only list mails that are older than that date. I can mark one of the emails and if you have uh, 50,000 emails, again, control, shift, A. That will mark all the 50,000 emails older than this date. You can right click and you delete them. Now you have deleted all your older mails before March 2021. I will close my search. I'm back in my inbox and I will see that I only have mails that goes back to March. All the older ones have been deleted from the system. So these are the two ways you can do the delete. Now, there is another scenario. What do you do if you only use webmail? You don't use any email client. First of all, this is not very smart. There are plenty of free email clients that you can use uh, and set up your email on a PC. But if you don't have your own PC and you always use webmail, or if you don't have a mail program, there are some things that you can do. Let's go through them. Back in your webmail, you have an option to uh, delete or download some files that contains your mail. If you go to Preferences, you go to Import Export, Export, Account, all folders, yes, advanced settings, yes. Let's download uh, all mails that is older than, for example, you, you can say three months in the past, but now I have so few mails, so I will say, let me see here, August 1st, uh, 1st of like you can go two years back if you have two years of email you want to download. But maybe do them a year at a time or a half a year at a time. Because if you have slow internet, it can take a long time to download. So now I will do, for example, uh, from the 1st of uh, August to 1st of September. Okay, all folders, everything ready. I will download my mails for these two months. And it will download it as a zip file. I save it in my download folder. 
it's downloading now when it's down I can go to my download folder I see my mails I can unzip them store them somewhere on my PC and here I will have inbox and here I will have all my mails so for example you can open any of your old mails by just clicking on it and it should open it in your and any email program you have on your PC you can also search and find specific uh, emails so this is a kind of backup of your mails if you do not have an email client then when you have done your backup you can go back to your webmail and now you can delete all the mails from before the date that you downloaded so for example 01062021 so all mails from before this date I can now delete because I have a backup in folders on my PC these are the things that is important to consider when you do uh, delete mails from your webmail uh, always make sure that you have a, a backup of what you delete either in an archived folder in your Outlook or in a here you have an archived folder in your Outlook for example or as files that you have downloaded from your webmail when you're sure you have the backup go ahead and delete the mails from your webmail.